Okay, yes. So this is about all uh, Office 365. So what is the subscription model and all? Few words are different now. So link, L Y N C is changed. The word is changed now. It is not there. So link is changed to Sky for Business. Then Sky for Business is changed to Teams. Okay. So actually, uh, Sky for Business is much uh, look better, but it's a Teams is more like this. Okay. But whatever it is, it is a Microsoft product. We are using that one. Okay. So this is Office 365 PPT, World PPT, but still uh, we can see few things for understanding. It is there. This is Office 365 Admin Center. So you want to download Office 365 into local PC. You want to add an accounts so then other users can able to use it and uh, other products we can able to manage like that. OK. You can add a users, you can create teams, you can create a, you can enable disable users, deleting users. You can create a roles for user or like a, you can make a user as a admin. OK, so like this. If you go to the admin center, so we'll get a adding a user kind of stuff. Next, so this is how to add a user. Once you are add a user, it generate a password. Share the username and password to the user. So then automatically uh, you can do it. So this is auto generated password and also you can create your own password for yourself also. OK, so once you are done, so then give the username and password to the user so they can start login and use the Office 365. OK, so you can create a group so then we can send a group mail kind of stuff group access kind of stuff, group permissions you can able to create. OK, so this is how to create a group kind of stuff, how to add a user to create. From here onwards, it is a exchange admin. So in this whole PPT, so uh, important things are mainly first is about what is Office 365 is a subscription model that sentences are important. The environment, environment like a how to add a users, how it is admin screens are there. You can see. Next one is what is exchange? What is the exchange center? How it is look like? OK, what are the different uh, kind of stuff inside? OK, what are the things we can able to understand? We can see it. Next, uh, SharePoint. So next one is what is a SharePoint? OK, what are the different things in the SharePoint? how to create those things in the SharePoint like that we can able to do it. Link is now the name is uh, Teams because Sky for Business, Sky for Business to Teams, it is got changed. It is the online meeting kind of stuff. It is still showing a world one like a Sky for Business. Again, only the sentences means the words are uh, uh, things like a instant messaging kind of stuff. Okay. That is very important. Partial anyway, uh, we don't use the partial part. We'll go with the uh, again back to exchange. Okay, this is uh, all about your PPT. I will share this PPT to you uh, in your WhatsApp group. Okay, so this is exchange admin center. It is world PPT. Okay, what is exchange and all? First of all, I will try to explain once. I'll try to explain. Are you able to hear right? Um, yes, yes, sir. What happened? Only six members. What about two members gone? Guys, we'll see. What is this exchange? Exchange is a mail server. Exchange is a mail server from the Microsoft application. You know how it is look like it is. This is a Windows server operating system. Generally, you have a Windows Server OS inside. I install okay, the Exchange Microsoft Exchange. Uh, any version 2013, 2016, 2019. I installed Exchange. Latest version is 19. Okay, as you know, okay, 2019. I use 2013 and 16. 19 is re basic requirements are high. I don't have that much RAM. 
So we need a Windows server inside. We are installing Exchange. It's a nothing but a small application. We install in this one. Okay. You know, you need a user authentication system, right? What we need? You need a user authentication. For user authentication, so which system we use it? Guys, tell me. What is the thing we use it for a user authentication? Active Directory and stuff. What is this? Domain controller. What is this? It's a mail server. Server. Okay. So what is Exchange Server? It is mail server. Which is nothing but a mail server. Okay. Authentication server is Active Directory server. So people are forget what it is, what it is also. Or uh, they're not telling answer. What Active Directory will do? What Active Directory will do? Store user group computer resources services information in the database Active Directory database name of Active Directory database is NTDS.DIT and Active Directory also give a service called authentication service. Kerberos authentication service. Protocol is Kerberos. Port number is 88. Kerberos authentication service. Okay, so Active Directory stores information of user, group, computer, and resources, services. And the Active Directory also do authentication. When user is logged into the computer, Active Directory authenticate, central authentication. Okay, that is a Active Directory. So where the Active Directory is installed? So that is a domain controller. So we have a domain controller and we have a exchange server. Okay, user authentication purpose, mail exchange purpose. Look at here. So this is my client computer. Okay, this is my client computer. Okay, like this, you can put how many client computers you want to put it. Okay, for example, this is the user, user one, user two. I'm telling, try to tell about a on-premises mail server. User one. Domain user only. So user want to send a mail to user two. User one I want to send a mail to user two. Okay. So the mail will send. Mail will be sent to mail server. In the mail server, it contains mail boxes. Understand, guys? It contains mailboxes mail server contains mailboxes mailboxes in respect to the users this is user 1 mailbox this is user 2 mailbox this is user 3 mailbox like that the mail server contains mailbox what is mailbox it is nothing but a simple folder simple space 
all terminologies from post office mail communication type only the only the english word is different mail means postal communication in us they use a word called mail in british we they use called a postal post postal department mail department postal department post office this is the british names in india we use postal department word in america they use mail that's why we call this mailing communication as email electronic mails if in case still britishers are invented then we put a e postal department okay maybe that word may be there but currently it is email gmail yahoo mail these are all comes from there only okay so user 1 send a mail to user 2 okay so the mail went to user 2 mailbox mail first sent to the exchange server exchange server has a, a agent is there mail transfer agent mta mail transfer agent is there mail transfer agent understand from where mail is came to whom mail is came there it check the user user 2 and put it into mail 2 okay next one user 2 pull the mail user 2 pull the mail from mailbox like you are checking a mails right you are checking a mails go to gmail i want to check my mail what happen i am pulling the mail from the gmail server from there to here i am pulling the mails so what are the mails i got it okay what are the mails i i have in the mailbox i i am taking it right so this is mail checking right so user to want to check the mail then what happen he pull the mail so mail transfer agent check the user to mailbox and put the data into this one so here it is user 1 mail will appears on the screen of user 2 so user 2 finally got the mail guys understand how it is communicate yes sir okay when you are sending a mail use a protocol called a SMTP protocol. Okay, when you are sending a mail, okay, to send a mail, what protocol? SMTP protocol. Simple mail transmission protocol. Simple mail transmission protocol. Anybody remember port number for SMTP? port number 25 sir very good very good smtp port number 25 okay next to pull the mail from server to the client so your client guys already told always i will tell like this server never do anything never do anything don't give no don't take anything from the staff okay so we have to give or we have to ask the server either you are sending a mail or you are receiving a mail both are from client side only user side only so you are pulling a mail to pull the mail you can't say like you accessing like you are pulling the mail you are using protocol called pop3 or we can use imap person for okay so anybody will uh, remember pop3 port number 110 sir very good 
MF version 4? 143. Very good. 143. Very good. Correct. It is. You know, when we got the something, then we immediately have to repeat ourselves. Only when you uh, try to get a DHCP, then immediately DHCP port number, DNS port number. Okay, 67, 68, DNS 53. Okay, HTTP 80, HTTPS 443. Okay, Telnet 23, SSH 22. Okay, like this. This is how mail communication works, POP3 or IMAP. Either you choose POP3 or IMAP kind of stuff. This is total mail communication, but on-premises mail communication at all. So what about the client side? That is actually not a main part, but I told in a client part also, but I told in a client part. I, I used left like this part, okay, so leave it, okay, so don't worry. Here it is, the point is, uh, final point is, what if my exchange server is down? What if the exchange server is down? Or maybe it is disconnected from the network. Or maybe more load on the exchange server. I have a 100 users are there. 200 users are there. 500 users are there. 1000 users are there. You know, exchange server, to install an exchange server, we need a 8 GB minimum RAM for 2013 and 2016. 8 GB minimum RAM capacity is required. Okay. For 2013 and 16 and of course for 19 also. Minimum 8 GB RAM is required for application. Server 2 GB means totally server must have 10 GB plus each mailbox 10 MB. You have a hundred, then one GB extra. Okay, and user everything will take more RAM capacity, right? So you have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Organization means more numbers are there. So more load on exchange server, more load on exchange server. You have to maintain licenses. What are the licenses are required? It is. This Windows Server license we have to maintain. This Windows Server license is required. Okay, this license is required. Exchange Server license is required. All right. Again, license cost is there. Active Directory you have to maintain. Exchange Server you have to maintain. If in case the Exchange Server is down, entire mail communication is done. What is the solution? If server is down, but still you require to access services. What is the solution? Configure high availability. Configure high availability. Right? You have to configure another mail server. Configure other mail server. Another exchange. Okay? Configure. So if this server is down, no problem, we have another server. You have another server, so you have to take a license for uh, Windows servers and Exchange server. And this is Active Directory. If it is down, problem, then take uh, another Active Directory server. Another Active Directory server. Like a ADC, ADS, ADC, Additional Domain Controller. Take additional domain controller. Take additional domain controller. Okay. So because of authentication should not be failure. Okay. Now you have a two servers. If two exchanges should be for a uh, for load balancing and failover, not enough. Then we have to go for more more exchange servers, more active directory servers required, right? More number of users increases. We need a more number of nodes for load balancing. There is a lot of possibility of failure of exchange servers. So what happened? More number of servers we have to install. 
and uh, we need a backend like uh, Active Directory authentication. So obviously uh, for user and uh, data synchronization. So we need a domain controller, additional domain controller kind of stuff. More number of server increases, more Windows server licenses, more hardware requirement, more exchange requirement is there. Okay guys, understand? Yes, sir. Now, what are we are doing here? It is and just lift up this thing to the little topper. I think it is enough. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply go to Office 365 Business or a Enterprise Microsoft 365. Or office 365 business enterprise e3 whatever it is okay so where you find exchange kind of stuff what we required I need a exchange feature I need an exchange feature. Uh, you will get a SharePoint feature also. Okay. Uh, you will get a Azure Active Directory also. Okay. Which based on what features we required. So important feature is for ourselves is exchange feature is important. Of course, you need authentication. So the, or, uh, you want a remote login kind of stuff. You want to take as you ready. Also you can take it. You have a client and this not required to be in a local network. From anywhere you can able to access because of Office 365 is a public cloud. So not inside your organization. You can log into any device. You can log into PC. Depends upon your package guys. Okay. PC, laptop, mobile phones, Windows, Linux, or anything, anywhere you can access. You can connect with the internet, very simple. You can send a mails and receive a mails through Exchange. And what you have to maintain, what you have to maintain, this is a software as a service, right? So what you have to maintain, no need to maintain the hardware. No need to maintain the hardware. No need to maintain the public network. No need to maintain this machine hardware already I told no. So network, hardware, virtualization, or a, no need to maintain this server licenses. Application also no need to maintain. Simply access the application through internet. Simply create a users i want a user one user two user three and give the password for a uh, users so they can simply log in the devices where you they want to log in okay multiple devices they can log in okay so they will exchange the mails this is the advantage of cloud this is the advantage of office 365 or a microsoft 365 for a exchanging of mails so you don't require to maintain entire infrastructure licenses applications power public ip address private ip addresses okay this kind of stuff and exchange in the office resistive i also offered a huge amount of storage okay huge amount of storage also we are getting like a minimum 50 gb 100 GB depends upon the package you have taken. You'll get a 50 GB, 100 GB. You want to see that one in my PC? Like I will show you. File. See this. Mailbox setting. I'm getting 50 GB. I'm getting 50 GB. This is my mail. This is my mail ID. This is my mailbox settings. Okay. This is my Outlook. Uh, OVA access, online access, 
you can get an Android or ISO apps also. This is import export for uh, you want to take a backup of your uh, mm, you, wa you want to take a backup of your mails. You can do it. Which is you download in your local PC that is again we will discuss. Uh, guys understand what is the advantage of using Office 365 uh, exchange? Yes, sir. OK, so this is another explanation of. Advantage of cloud. Another explanation of advantage of cloud in on premises you have to maintain the physical servers network public IP addresses dedicated networks. OK, license of operating systems, applications, managing the power supplies. This is used button on a organization level. For example, example, I'm a very small organization. I'm a very small organization. I have only uh, 10 or 20 employees. So per month, my cost is into number of users. For example, here 125 rupees into 20 users is around uh, um, 2500. It is for 10 users 1250 uh, for a 20 users 2500 per month. Only is a desktop edition is not there. I'm getting mails, a SharePoint, OneDrive. I'm getting here. One, one cloud storage also we I'm getting here. If I want a more powerful like a desktop edition also I required, then I'll go to business standard. Still I want more like I want enterprise features also I required, then I will go to enterprise. Okay. So just simply go to buy now, try for one month, add a user accounts like this. Okay. Add a your email accounts here. OK, so you can see recipients, dashboards, admin center. You add email accounts as per your requirement. OK, and give the certain permission to the users if they want to become administrator kind of stuff also. Okay. Make a user as admin role or a user role or an Outlook a web role kind of stuff. You can create a different policies and apply mean means only are managing exchange server not in required to manage hardware licenses operating system and power supply things okay uh, i didn't uh, write anything about office 365 exchange okay so go through ppt only just I want to show you explanation in a in a picture pictorial manner. So that's it. Uh, I, I will tell other few things. Just uh, I need a five minutes to uh, complete that one. OK, so here it is few words. You can create a policies as for your requirement and mail flow in a mail flow. You can put a stay organized, stay up to date, start from blank rules are there. OK, and uh, of course in a mail flow, there is so many other things also there. Message tracing, you know what is a message tracing? Message tracing means. When you are sending a mail. OK, you send a mail. So whether other person received a mail or not, you know you are a team leader or a, you are a HR. You send a mail to your employee. Give me reply on this Butler uh, information immediately. The guy said like, uh, uh, no, I didn't receive any mail. But you can show you received a mail. I got a delivery report. I got a delivery report. Like in a WhatsApp, you have a check marks like this check marks. This check mark means it is delivered to everyone. OK, the check mark means it delivered to everyone. OK, green check marks. So what is the uh, green check marks? Means it is a uh, message they are checked. 
okay so like a delivery report is there now like a mail delivery report is there second so usually if you are working in an organization uh, you are applying to another organization uh, any job application or you are sending some mails to someone not within organization or within organization or outside of organization i want to trace your mail okay i'm a hr i want to trace your mail to whom you are sending a mails so i can able to trace it also so in a message tracing user base is like a delivery type other one is so mail you are sending to someone that is next accepted domains so are you able to send a mails and receive a mails from different domains like yahoo red hotmail.com okay readymail.com gmail.com servantis.com that is it is there mail flow rules is a stay organized stay up to date start from blank rule stay organized is like a organizing the mails look at here this is organizing the mails you can rules go to rules create or manage rules okay so you can see new rules stay organized stay up to date start from blank rule okay so what is this rules for example i received a mails lot of mails from different places like a, most of the time i received like a happy birthdays okay so someone birthday in organization lot of people are working in organization and uh, people are getting uh, like a happy birthday kind of stuff so what happens we don't know some of the people we know some people no problem but we don't know most of the people okay depends upon your working location also right i don't know uh, noida people i don't know uh, uh, us people and all we don't know so india people working for india okay also i don't know because uh, my office is i don't go to hyderabad office more often very less only okay yeah i know uh, abdul afsar is uh, in a hyderabad office okay so mine is completed four years this is congratulations not um, happy birthday but these are some are happy birthdays some are service anniversaries okay some are service anniversaries some mails we will get a joinings newly joining kind of stuff events are occur now these events are not there now so because of covid uh, we are not putting any events and of course i'm not receiving any event kind of stuff also yeah this is events okay so uh, you know diwali event and all so they will put a uh, what is this event and all kind of stuff h1b uh, our servant uh, is also dealing with a h1b visa process like okay? in future if you want to go to uh, us with h1b visa so contact servant uh, is okay so h1b visa process also there here so sometimes if anybody is getting a uh, h1 visa confirmation we will also receive a mail congratulations mail i don't require because my mail main mail should be in the this inbox these are the main mails should be there in here not here okay so this birthdays and all everything is covered and on my mailbox so i will confuse right so instead of searching a original mail and a happy birthdays so i will get a problem so what i done i put a stay organize i put a stay organize in the stay organize i said anything comes with a birthday either in the mail or a sub subject if it is a birthday or a service anniversary birthday happy birthday or service anniversary put the mail into birthday box okay or if you receive any mails from h1b visa or a subject with h1b put it in a h1b kind of stuff okay on this client okay if you receive any mails from ilog that is hr 70s if you receive any mails from the hr so go to hr 70s because hr 70s is also 
sometimes this happy holy kind of stuff, but important mails also you will receive. So in these uh, cases, so better to keep in a separate separate folder. So that is called as stay organized. Organize the mails into separate separate folder. Next, stay up to date. So it will a uh, sound is there. See it is see. If you receive any mails, so it will uh, play some kind of notification sound notification kind of stuff will be generated, right? So it make a sound notification showing on here like a, in a under notification area. So it will shows you received a new mail kind of stuff. So that is called as stay up to date. Start from blank role. You want to create your own role as per your requirement. You can create it. So that is a mail flow rules. OK, so this is approval mail like, you know, you want to send a mail uh, to uh, thousand users at a time. May not be only I can restrict number of mails you can able to send uh, five only or I can restrict as an admin. These are this is this is not admin. This is user side, but admin side also I can put it uh, earlier. I told in a mail message tracing kind of stuff like uh, there here. You can send only 10 MB file only. You can send only you know, one Butler message only like like a, to whom you want to send or a, uh, only 10 mails you can send at a time. 1000 mails you can send at a time. 500 mails you can send at a time like a Gmail having a regulation within the 24 hours of within the 24 hours maximum 500 mails you can able to send like that. You can put it. OK. So this is mail trace kind of stuff. OK, so last day like to whom you are send a mail from last 24 hours. OK, like this. So this is mail trace rules, accepted domains, remote domains, connectors all there. Compliance management, you you send a mail or you accidentally deleted a mail from your inbox and as well as a here. For example, you deleted a mail from here and also you deleted from the deleted items also. So what happens? What happened? You can't get the mail, right? So it will may st stores in the mail server. So then you have to uh, check in from there. So data prevention loss, maybe your mail in the backup so we can able to recover it. OK, there is a few other features are there. So you can read it, guys, just you will understand what it is. OK, so this is all about uh, your exchange. Afternoon, we'll discuss about a SharePoint and Teams. In a SharePoint, I will show you how to create a, a SharePoint link also. Here it is. How to create a, a SharePoint thing. Why it is showing like this, no problem. This is SharePoint. So I will create last time I created a not a last time. So two, three times I created again. I will create and I will delete it for you. So here it is. This is I created. 70s ACAD I created. OK, mm -hmm. I created another one is, is like a DevOps kind of stuff. Pages also I created. OK. So training. Uh, training is having nothing. So I will show you how to create a page or a post. OK, my sites. So I'm trying to search for a my sites site connectivity. If someone is deleted or what? I log in with uh, my account only. Document site pages. Home page. Where, where is mine? OK, now all I'm will search it in afternoon, so we'll go to SharePoint. OK, I will show you uh, the pages, which pages we can uh, how to create a page. What is that use of that one? See, this is the one I created last time I showed see it is. DevOps notes. I created some information here, so then I shared it. I can share it to multiple users to views 
how many people are you viewed this one like and uh, uh, safer post okay i think i i have two views are my views only eight members i share this document the the thing to eight members to pani madhu sir and as uh, afsar charan babu revant and sudeshna saiti like that so i share i created this page and i share this page to multiple users okay this is a devops notes i have created like that you can use a sharepoint also let lot of things we can do with the sharepoint so this is one small point okay afternoon we'll discuss guys very simple again yeah it is already 2 o'clock okay you have to maintain entire infrastructure for a mail communication instead of that one go for office 365 simply go to office 365 business account or a enterprise account and in that one various types are there we have seen already the differences go to exchange part create your mail accounts okay create a user accounts as per your requirement okay and uh, share the email accounts their password to the users user can able to access their mails from any device like a pc laptop mobile phone and stuff in this one we don't required actually we don't required actually uh your device is not required be in the domain also okay so any device you can able to access mails from anywhere you can access just you have to connect to internet you can access okay that is the office reason not only mail account also we are getting earlier we have a, a other kind of comparison is there so only you'll get a teams exchange sharepoint and one drive only only these things you won't get like this that is earlier we have a that kind of package is there now it is removed okay so a compulsory you have to verify from it okay so once you have it you can add a mails uh, other administrations you can able to do in the mail servers okay so that's what i'm trying to say exchange mail thing okay other uh, things like a mail tracing mail flow rules are there mail tracing accepted domains is a uh, other thing policy policies we can able to create per user okay we can create a users kind of stuff how much we have tell this much only there nothing more you guys understand yes sir yes sir okay yes sir so again we 